I'm going to show you how to use TeacherMade to make any of those PDF assignments or activities you have turn into an online interactive activity. So once you've created your account, all you need to do is go into the My Worksheets tab right up here in the top, go over to the Actions button, click on it, and say Create Worksheet. You'll have to name it something. Put in a description if you want. And then here's where you're going to upload your background. And the background is that PDF that you have created. So that is the background. That'll be the picture that's on the background. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and put in my background here. So something that I kind of created. And then all you have to do is click the make my file down here at the bottom. So then what you see is the PDF that you had created to start with. So here are my questions. And normally the students would have this printed out and they'd be writing with their pencil or pen. But now you're going to make it interactive and send it out to them digitally. So what you can do now is you take these questions. This one I'm going to say was a multiple choice question. This toolbar right up at the top, when you hover over any one of these options, it'll tell you what it is. So if I click on this little dot here, it'll say it's a multiple choice. So if I click on that, It'll give me how many choices do you want to make. Now, my question was three choices to choose from, so I'll choose the three. And then I just click and drag to draw it right where I want. And I can line those dots up with any of my writing that I already have on my sheet. So there we go. Now, the important thing is teacher made also self grades, making your life even easier. So if I take the time now and actually mark one as correct, I can mark any of these as being a correct answer. And I'm going to just say anything chocolate, even though every one of those things are my favorite. I could go over here to my second question, and maybe this is one that there is more correct answer to. So I may want to use the checkbox option. So when I click that, I have three choices. I can drag my image to where I want it. And now I can choose what the correct answers are. So maybe this one, all three of those are correct. True and false is another option. When I click the T and F up here, I can either have the whole words true and false, the letters, a yes or no. I'm going to say I want the whole words. Now here's what's nice. You already have the words true and false on your PDF, but when I draw this out, the words show up as push buttons. But if I cover the entire text that's already there, so if I move this over, you can see the words are there. But if I grab my question answers right here, and I put it on top of the text, it covers it up so those won't show up. So there's mine, and I'm going to say Star Wars is, of course, the best movie collection. I'm going to click it as true, so I'm going to mark that correct. And then this is a short answer. I want them to type in something. So if I hover over this little text box, short answer, I can just draw it, and what they'll do is type in here. Now what's kind of cool is when I click on this, I can change the font and I can change the size. So maybe I want this at a 24 size. I can also change the color. So when they type, maybe I want this to show up as a different color. So you can change the color, the size, what color their board, the border on this box is, so I can make it stand out more if I wanted. So you can kind of play with some of that too. And then the other cool thing, and there's lots up here to choose from. There's lots you can do. Um, some of them you have to have paid access for, but everything I'm showing you is free. You can also do the matching, and this is kind of cool. So if I hover over here and it says matching, I click the button. I highlight or box in the choice. So fuel for educators. And then if I go over here and I'm going to say, I'm going to click that again, and I'm going to say, of course, the fuel is coffee. When I have this one selected, so it's got the blue boxes, and I hold the shift down and click the next one, it connects them. So all I have to do is box my choices, best days of the school year. I'm going to click on that little matching icon again. I'm going to see the best days are the summer. It's got those blue little check boxes. If I hold the shift down and I click, now those are being selected as the correct answers. So I'm going to draw all my little boxes here. And I'm going to match them up. So that would be the correct choices. 
So when I'm all done and I've made my, oh, I forgot, of course you want to have their name, you want to know whose this is, so I'll put a little text box right up here. And I'll make that font a 24. And maybe I want their name to really stand out and be red. Perfect, there we go. So when you're all done, you just have to go up to the file and hit close. So that's what you have to do to create it on the back end. So now that part is done. I can preview it to kind of take a look at it to make sure everything looks right. And this is kind of what the students would see. So when I choose my answers, There we go. So that's kind of how the kiddos would do their activity. They click check their answer, and anything green would be the right answer. And you can see I was supposed to choose all three of them. So that's kind of what they will see. They'll see their final score if you turn that on. These are all options that you can give them or not. So that's what their interaction looks like. So I can close that out. I know that everything looks right. That is how you create your activity. So now you're ready to kind of making an assignment so other people can actually use these activities. If I click on the Create Assignment button, there's what I had called it. Now, with the free version, you have to use TeacherMade. If you do the paid version, you can use Google Classroom and Canvas and other options, but they all work kind of the same. It's just a little bit more of a workaround. So I just click TeacherMade. I go down here to the bottom and click Next. I want them to use their Google account. Since we're all signing in on Chromebooks, you're already gonna be signed in, that is the easy way. So you don't wanna create a name and an ID, that's a whole lot of work. Since we're one-to-one -one Chromebooks, using a Google account is always the best, easiest option. Go down to click Next again. And here's where you get to play with what the students see when they complete the assignment. Now, with standards-based grading, there is no such thing really as a percent, so I would just say points earned. You can say out of points possible. You can break this down to whatever works for you. Um, you can see what they see when they turn it in. So right now, if I leave this at none, when a student clicks turn in and they're done, they don't see their score. They don't know how they did until you release it. Now, many times I want them to see how they did on every question. So that may be what I choose. That's, once again, totally up to what you want them to see. And I don't want them to see... Um, maybe a total score. I only want them to see how they did in every single question because every question may be a different standard, so I might choose that middle option. Go down to the next button. These two bottom options, even if you leave them on, they're not going to do you any good because those are the pro, but I want them to be able to create their own text boxes sometimes. I want them to draw on that worksheet if possible. I would leave these on so the options are always available. Go over and click the Save button. And then here's where you get to assign it. So I could copy this to my clipboard, use GoGuardian, push it out to all my kids, we're ready to go. That's one way to do it. So if you were live action in the classroom, just want to send this out to them, use that option right there, push it with GoGuardian, you're golden. You could also click the Share to Classroom button. And when I click that, it's going to look very familiar to all of those Google Classroom users. I can make an assignment, I can go through this and set up whichever classroom I want it in, making an assignment or a material, whatever you want. So either option will work for you. I'll show you what the kiddos would see if they were to push this with GoGuardian. So if I went into my student account and then you push this link to them, they get the link. When it opens, it just says, begin with Google. Very common, they know how to click this. They click their name. And now here is their activity. And just like that preview option, there are some things up here like a highlighter they can do some things with. Um, but there are some tools that I didn't show. But make sure that when they answer these, and they're all done, that they do go down to the bottom. Now they can save for later and come back, so it saves their progress. But when they click on done, that turns it in. And then because I had it set up that they could see how they did, you can see I did not do well because I didn't answer all of my questions. But that's what the students would see. Now what's cool on your end is after that student takes it, I'm gonna go back to my worksheets. This is a list of everything that I had made. And then I had, here's the demo sheet, the one we had just done. So I wanna see how my students did. If I click on demo sheet, 
Right here, you can see that one of one people did it. That means I only had one person take it. I will see all of my students listed here. So all of their accounts will be listed with their score. If I click on their score, I can actually see their document and see what they answered. So it's kind of like having their piece of paper to look at. All you have to do now is kind of go through there, take a look at everything. You could print them out if you wanted, if you wanted a hard copy. You can go from student to student up here, but since I only have one, there's only one to see. So that's how you get a chance to look at the student work that they did. It's all self-graded. It's real easy to use. It's very simple for the kids to access and to answer. So that is teacher made.